Hi guys, Paul Pluter on the Paul Pluter channel. Just having a small beverage there. Guys, I'm doing a paid review for Daniel. Archie, life about experiences after watching the wrist shots with a sea dweller. It's obvious. The ingenuine is gr a great fit. You should let the world time and explorer go. Shit. Archie. Life about experience. Life is about experiences. After watching the wrist shots with the sea dweller, it's obvious. The in genuine is a great fit. You should let the world time and the explorer go. Wears like a favorite t-shirt from high school. Get a 42 mil black Explorer 2 and a white Basheron for a big boy like me. And have coin left while still in Trilogy. I had the love of my life. A BMW motorcycle that I recently, <clears throat> recently let go. Cost $1,500 a year for the privilege to own and rarely got to use. Use the money to get a Rolex Explorer 2. You will always have the memories of that world time. I've sent you a photo in the past with 20 acknowledging your influence to get a Speedy, a Tudor, a Rolex, Speedy and IWC, but no answer. From Daniel there. Yes, Daniel, thank you very much there. I've been a busy guy. I uh, I sometimes cannot always... Um, I cannot always get to the emails there. So, uh, yeah, I, I do appreciate what you're saying there. Very interesting email indeed. Um... I remember a number of years. I love BMW motorcycles. I mean, these are no bikey's bike. These are these are proper <clears throat> motorcycles. I, I love BMW. Um, my my dream bike. I remember when I was in year six, my teacher, one of my teachers in year six, had a a beautiful black and uh, it was a black enamel BMW. It was probably an R65 or something like that with the JPS gold pinstripe on the tank. And I thought that was just stunning machine. Uh, absolutely stunning. Um, I, I understand what you're saying there. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes in life you've got to let things go. I do get it. I do get it, Daniel, but uh, I don't think that is the answer for me, Daniel. <clears throat> I don't think it's the answer for me. I have let a lot of things go in my life, i got to tell you. Um, I've let a lot of things go. I, uh, I had my Explorer 1, the 1016. That was a mistake to get rid of. I had... Um, I had a very beautiful 18238 diamond dial. I, I love that watch, but I, I had to sell it for personal reasons. I had a few of Pateks, the 5107, that was absolutely stunning. I had the 5035 annual calendar. Then I had the gold Submariner. And uh, Daniel, I, I do understand what you're saying to me, but... I think in my case, it's time to stop flipping and try and settle a bit. The The world time is interesting. Let me tell you this. I, I remember in the early 2000s, 2000 and, 2004, saying to myself, what paddock would I get if money was no object? And I'm not saying, you know, you buy the ridiculous perpetual calendar chronograph. You know, I mean, that's ridiculous. Um, I'm saying, what would you get if, if, you know, you could buy within reason, middle class reason, and um, the world time came up. 
the world time. And <clears throat> I thought that would be an amazing watch to get. I just did. And um, I originally wanted a, a white gold, which I did actually get a white gold. And then I very quickly churned it over because there was profit, of course. Nasty word money, isn't it? It's just a nasty thing. And I then got the yellow gold one. And some people don't like yellow gold, but I actually couldn't be more happier with it. <clears throat> and it's the journey. It's the journey I've gone through in life. See, that world time, <clears throat> that world time of mine, it tells the story of me foolishly getting rid of the Explorer 1, having money problems, getting rid of the President, having a Calatrava, the annual calendar, the gold sub, all these swings and roundabouts. And finally, finally my watch is a Patek Philippe World Time in yellow gold, which I don't give a flying fuck whether someone doesn't like yellow gold. I actually think it's just beautiful. I don't I don't dislike white, I don't dislike the, the rose gold, I don't dislike the platinum. But I really love my yellow gold one. I'm not here to pretend anything. I'm just I just love it for what it is. And I think for me <clears throat> it's time for me to keep. It's time for me to keep the world time. I love that watch. I don't even have to wear it. I just know I own it. That's all that matters. And uh, I understand you, you got a, a 42 mil black dial. I, re I love the Explorer. I really do love the Explorer. But I don't think I can sell my Explorer, the Polar 40 mil, because it's become synonymous with Archie Luxury. It's the Archie Luxury Rolex. There's the Steve McQueen, right? There's the Paul Newman Daytona, and you've got the Archie Luxury Explorer 2. The Polar. It's as simple as that. It, it is my trademark. So, I, I really can't ever get rid of that Explorer 2. Um, I, I love my world time. Yes, I know we're not going to be on this planet forever. I'm quite well aware of the facts of life. But I think in this day and age, it's time for me to keep it and start making some memories. Um, I, I love, I've got a Tudor Black Bay. I love my Tudor. I love my Rolex, the Explorer 2 Polar. I love my Speedmaster Man on the fucking Moon. I love my IWC. I really love my Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. I love it to death. These are things I love. I want to create memories with these. I really do love my world time. And... Um, I don't ever really want to sell it. I like it. I like it a lot. It makes me calm. <clears throat> it makes me content and happy in life. It's a very, very cool piece indeed. So, um, I got to tell you, in all honesty, I don't think I can get rid of it. I love it still. I love it greatly. <clears throat> Many years ago, I saw an advertisement for an R65 BMW. I rang up, but it had already been sold. Sometimes, it's good to hang on to the things we love. And I agree, you've got the Rolex now, well that's fantastic, as long as you're happy. I used to love cars, I, I had a BMW E30 318i myself. I love that car. It's not the collectible one. People, you collect the M3 or the 325i. <clears throat> but that doesn't matter. It was my car. I loved it. 
brilliant red with the tan biscuit interior. Love that car. I'll never forget that. The memories won't ever die. And uh, I got to tell you, I really do love my watches. My watches mean more to me than carpet beetles, hanging sheets instead of curtains. These are the sacrifices I've made to to hoard and possess luxury watches. So Dan, thank you so much for your email. I appreciate your kindness. And never forget, we're only here once. This is our life ain't no dress rehearsal. Yes, raise your kids. Yes, pay for their education. Pay for anything they need. Then get a few things that really make you smile. I'm Paul Pluter. This is the Paul Pluter channel. This has been a paid review. Tell me what you guys think of that. Hi guys. A fan of mine has been inspired to start a wristwatch series of his own. Bitter Poet Madman. That's the name of his channel. And the show is called It's Complicated. That's right. It's complicated. It looks like he has some nice examples. I saw he has a Rolex. Rolex! He recently just got an Omega. He talks watch accessories, does reviews, unboxings, and talks about new and pre-owned wristwatches. Again, the channel name is Bitter Poet Madman. Bitter Poet Madman. So why don't you fuckers let that fucker know what you think of that. Bitter Poet Madman channel. To me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars. Whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is well, guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pluto channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube.